Why are fertility rates dropping? You know, one of the interesting things is when you look at fertility rates, the biggest indicators are whether or not a person is religious and of any religion and whether the person is poor. Those are the people that have the most kids. When you look at maps, it's sub-Saharan Africa where you have tremendous religion and lots of poverty where they are having the highest fertility rates. When you come to Western cultures that are wealthy and secular, they don't have children and you can kind of reason it out. It's, it's my career has become my God. My money has become my ultimate. It, and children are seen as an obstacle to that. So it's very deliberate. I'm not going to have children. I'm going to chase my career first. I'm going to give away all the years that I would be fathering or mothering children to chasing after worldly things, and children are a distant priority. That's part of it. And you see 70 million abortions worldwide where people are saying, I don't want children. That plays into it. But then you also have another side of this where we see plummeting for like sperm counts all over the world. Since 1973, from 1973 to 2018, more than 200 studies on sperm counts worldwide have shown a more than 50% decline in sperm counts nationwide. And they don't know if that's from microplastics or what is causing this. But if And it's accelerating. It's actually dropping faster and faster and faster with each new decade, which means if that continues, we're going to see widespread infertility issues in men going forward.